What's happening, everybody? Trey here, and today at Reactions to the Classics, gonna be reacting to the Jazz Butcher, aka Pat Fish, and his track "Goodbye, Sweetheart." I want to uh, shout out our uh, friend and patron of the channel, Thomas, for bringing this to our attention uh, today to uh, react to and requesting this. Uh, Thomas uh, gives some good insight in here about this track. Uh, he says this song is from the Jazz Butcher, aka Pat Fish, an English artist and band leader dating back to the '80s, known for his wit and melodies. After a number of years battling cancer, Pat Fish seemed to have regained health, but then passed away in his sleep in October of 2021. He was working on an album, this one, The Highest in the Land, now uh, released on February 4th. Like David Bowie's Black Star, it's an amazing reflection on life and a knowing look at what's next. Uh, the last song on the LP, Goodnight Sweetheart, showcases Fish's great lyrics, melody, and music. Don't know much of his personal life. Is it written to a son in part? Don't know, but not sure 2022 will produce a better song. Um, man, very well written right there, Thomas. I appreciate you bringing it uh, to me as your, your first request here, and um, it sounds like it's going to be a, a, a heavy track. I'm not familiar with uh, any of the, the jazz butcher's work um, or Pat Fish, but uh, I will say I do love the band name right here. Um, it's definitely one you're going to remember, and uh, as always, man, going to have the lyrics pulled up, just going to sit back, enjoy the tune, then give my thoughts at the end. So thanks again to Thomas for suggesting this, and uh, let's get to it. Wonderful lyricism, stating the obvious here, people. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
powerful song right here, man. Good night, sweetheart. Got to give that the hard treatment right here. Um, ooh, powerful d- tune. Knowing that uh, you know this record was re- released uh, posthumously, and um, definitely does you know make you think of Bowie's Black Star or uh, Leonard Cohen's "You Want It Darker," his last record, um, where yeah, you just uh, get the sense of these men that have lived life and are uh, you know looking back on those experiences. What are they taking from it? What wisdom are they trying to share with us? As the listener right here and uh I, thomas i might be onto something with the sun in part uh, and maybe i'm just reading that from the first line here little jake and i are going to use up ink and paper and you know write down the things that we've seen and you know starts to list it off saying that hey it's long overdue to do this and um you know we, we can't leave it off uh you know push it off any longer so to speak um and in the midst of this very subdued instrumentation right here um which really uh kind of let uh the um let the, the vocals shine forth right here and um as, as thomas noted i thought the melody was uh quite soothing at points and um you know was a uh, was it just the the right amount of uh you know kind of balancing from being understated without being you know too stripped back and not being over the top uh, I, I thought that um the the whole musicianship just worked well for what the song was trying to convey um and uh, some some nice uh, metaphors in here we are uh, loose dogs on the motorway um but here we are screaming at the ambulance that truck had my name on it i don't know maybe thinking of uh you know just you know carpe diem let's seize the day this could have been mine this could have been this you know just almost has that youthful spirit to it in um in, in that verse right there but then we say i never felt as truly happy as i did with you took half a lifetime worth every day so either um you know with his son you know half his lifetime and then boom he had a son or maybe if this is in another sense to just a, a lover in general you know that could work as well um and he he lists off all the the, the great places that they've seen and uh, been to and um then he uh notes uh you know just just kind of some of the not the mundane parts of life but hey we're just in the bar or the the train station or whatever the case may be but since i'm with you it made it all worth it so to speak and um and then i i thought the very end of the uh, track to um, was really good here we are where life becomes impossible we want to be handled softly kissed and told that we're worth something i mean uh i i think that that's a pretty universal truth and statement right there for the majority of people and then we finish with the uh the song's title which also ends off the record good night sweetheart good night sweetheart um man powerful powerful track right here thanks thomas for for bringing it um rest in peace man to uh to pat fish and uh he, he went off on a high note man if this is the, the last song that's going to be on your your last record uh you, you went off on a really high note right there uh definitely powerful and uh, open i think to a little bit of interpretation and meaning of how you want to put it possibly in uh, in your own life as well so uh all that to say let me know your thoughts on this if you've given this record a spin let me know what you think of it uh down in the comments below and be sure to give some love to thomas for uh bringing this to our attention today at rttc if you like the video be sure to give it a thumbs thumbs up hit that big red subscribe button and if you'd like to have a uh, one of us here do a reaction for you you can check out our patreon page which is linked below as well as at the end screen along with another video that you might enjoy but i guess ladies and gentlemen that will uh, wrap it up from us uh here today so um uh until next time thanks so much for watching happy listening and we will see you